Today I'm going to show you how to install the Carters by DaVinci Colby 4-in-1 Convertible Mini Crib with Trundle. So let's get started. So here's all the parts that come with the package. Uh, you know, there's a bunch of them. The nuts and screws are here in this nicely uh, coated, basically, package here, and it tells you which each part is. So what you want to do is go ahead and take the sides here, A and B, and take those pegs and put them in all four sides. So I'm showing you here that they are labeled each part, so they're pretty easy to find and make sure that the holes are in the bottom. Uh, you want to put them in the bottom, so then put the pegs in each side and it only they only fit on one, uh, one of the two holes, so don't worry about messing it up. So go ahead and put in all four. And then what we want to do is get this skinny package, which is the legs. And we're going to take these, this hardware here, and we're going to do E, F, G, and H. So again, just like all the other parts, they are labeled. So here's E. We're going to do F. I'm going to show you how to do F. So go ahead and uh, make sure that the peg is lined up first. Take your big screw on that lock washer. Line up the peg and then put in the screw and then use this piece with the thread down and you can put it in that hole there. And if you get good enough, you don't even need to use, use your screwdriver to hold it in place. You can just put it in and start screwing and it'll catch. And then all you need to do is just tighten it. So if you do need to use a screwdriver, no worries. Go ahead and just use it to help you keep that, that piece in place. And then you can use your power drill to uh, make them tight just a little bit faster. And what you want to do is take this screw and this piece here, and we're going to get the ends of the crib, D and C. So make sure that the rails are on the right side with the uh, wheels sticking out on both sides. So they do have little starter holes. So we're going to put that piece there. And then what I did is I started each one first. Um, that way you have some wiggle room. And then basically what I did is I held the piece down. That way it's as straight as possible and then tightened it up. So there's me holding it down so it's as straight as possible and then uh, tighten the screws so they're, you know, tight. And what we wanna do is take this hardware here and we're gonna put one of the sides with one of the ends together. So first thing you wanna do for this is make sure that the peg is lined up. So line up that peg first and then go ahead and put the two screws in. So again, screw in the lock washer and then put that in. Thread that in and then go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom and also on the other side as well. There we go. Screw those in and then of course for these, it's, there's no room for a power drill so you gotta use the Allen wrench to tighten them up on both sides. So there's four of them total. Then we can put this uh, divider in place, and this just divides the bed, but divides the bed from the drawer on the bottom. Take this hardware now, and what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put this little, you know, flat piece. Um, we're going to mount it to the mattress mattress board, I guess. So I'll put the screw in, the lock washer, and the wing nut, and tighten those up for all four sides. And once we've done that, then basically take these screws here and you're going to want to put in all 12 of these. And so basically these are basically, we're just plugging the holes basically. And the reason for this is to make sure that baby doesn't get their hands or their fingers or toes stuck uh, in the holes. So this is where the power drill comes in handy. It's really nice to do, do these really quick. So once you've done the 12, then we're going to go put the mattress frame on. So I didn't have a helper, so this is how I did it. I just used my foot for the first one to get that locked in. And then I use my knee here to help, uh, you know, line up the second one. And then after that, it's a lot easier. Then you just use your other hand, line up the arms, and then you can uh, thread the screws in. Now we're gonna put the last side on. So we're gonna get the pegs and then this uh, hardware here to lock the this side in place. So put the pegs in first. 
and then go ahead and put, you know, line up the pegs, put your screw with the lock washer in, and then go ahead and tighten those up uh, on all four sides, or there's four of them total, top and bottom. Once you've done that, then take six more screws and you're gonna plug these holes as well for the same reason as before. We don't wanna get our baby's fingers or to toes stuck. Then take this big box, which is basically the drawer, and you're gonna take this hardware and you're gonna take O, K, L, and J. So you'll notice that O is a lot wider, so that's gonna be the front piece and make sure that the rails are facing out and the wheels are facing up. So line those up. There are little starter holes on the side of that block of wood, so don't worry about trying to figure it out. Um, also make sure that the lines at the bottom are lined up because that's where you're gonna put the bottom of the drawer. So get those lined up, go ahead and screw those in, and then same thing with the other two pieces. So line them up, of course make sure that, that bottom line is in place so you can get the bottom of the drawer in and then same thing with the last one. And once we've done that then you can slide in the bottom of the drawers um, and obviously if it's not lined up then you didn't do it quite right so you might have to go back and fix that. So put both of them in and then put the last piece on. There's two screws here to lock it in and then there's two screws on each side. So two here and two on the other side and then once we've done that Then go ahead and slide in the drawer. You do need to lift the crib up to get it to slide into place uh, to line it up correctly before you can slide it in. And then just put your little pad in and you're done. So if you thought the video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.